Hi everyone, thank you for joining me today. Um, so as I have just recently gotten off a long haul flight to Europe, uh, left DC and flew into Lisbon, Portugal, I thought I would share with you what I bring on every flight with me. I do travel quite a bit. Um, and this is my under the seat backpack that I have. And it looks on the table kind of thick, but it actually scr scrunches and I can just like squish it and kick it under the seat of the plane. It has worked for me in pretty much every plane I've ever flown in, uh, whether it's domestic or like the less expensive airlines or even the you know international airlines. So this has worked for me. This is um, my Travel On anti-theft backpack. Um, you can find them on Amazon as well. This is kind of old though. I've had this for a couple of years now. Um, and so we're gonna go ahead and look inside and then I will go ahead and list all of the items that I have in here. Um, I will try to provide links if I can. Um, I am not affiliated with Amazon at all, um, but I will try and find links for everything that I have in here. Okay, let's get started. All right, so let's get started. We're gonna go ahead and open her up. So there are some buckles in the back and then here in the back I have a zipper and this is where I keep my travel umbrella. I keep a word, uh, cross word puzzle and I also keep a journal and I also keep my um, organizer and this keeps all my, you know, my passport, my tickets, uh, a zipper for money, um, you know, whatever, anything that I need, boarding passes, all of that, um, my global entry card, any of that. So I keep that in here, and this is great. I actually got this at TJ Maxx, so for anyone who is interested. Um, so that is what I keep in this area, and I can also keep a bunch of magazines in here, and a tablet will fit in here too, if you needed to uh, download movies for flights or anything. So that's this area. Okay, in this front pocket here, I always keep, um, oh, this is actually all my anti-theft stuff, which I'll do another video on. I have a whole list of anti-theft um, little goodies that I use to keep uh, money hidden or my key or whatever the case may be. Um, so this is some of the stuff and this is what I keep in this pocket, but I'll show you all of that at a later time. All right, in this pocket down here, um, and all of these uh, latch on, um, so these are locking um, zippers, which I really appreciate because that way you kind of know and you can feel if someone's trying to fiddle with your stuff, which, you know, my biggest pet peeve ever is pickpocketing. I can't stand thieves or um, those that are trying to get to items that don't belong to them. So I always try to keep them under lock and key as much as possible. All right, so in this pocket here, I have um, three sets of carabiners. Is that what they're called? That's what I'm going to call them, carabiners. I have a small one, I have a medium one and I have a large one. I got these also on Amazon. These are a little on the pricey side. These are um, in the $20 range. I think anywhere from $15 to $20, I think. Um, but what I like about these is that these also have hooks that you can hook things on. So larger one, they all have you know hooks that, um, you know, to basically hook on to things if you need. So everyone kind of knows how these work. If you don't, I'm more than happy to show you, but they're very, very useful in many ways. Um, so I always have those. Okay, so moving on, let's okay, go ahead and go into the large compartment. And this is what I keep. And again, I do this for short flights as well as long haul flights. I just keep everything together and I make a list of what needs to be replaced after each trip. So there are a couple things I do need to be replaced that I'll share with you. I'm just gonna be quite honest because I just uh, got got done arriving from a trip. So I will just show you what I have in here. So in this top compartment, I have this. And um, these are two things that I use on the plane all the time. This, oh, it's a flashlight. So sorry about that. It's not supposed to be on. Um, but this is super fun. It's, and the flashlight just turned on again. That's annoying. Okay, so this is actually a fan. So it's really great, especially for those in their mid 40s like me who get hot all the time for various reasons. And sometimes they just, oh, I don't know, just flash on whenever they choose. So for those that get hot a lot, this fan is great. It's wonderful for festivals, for the airplane, because sometimes it gets too cold or too hot, or just wherever you may be. 
so I keep this handy with me all the time and it also comes with a charging station so it also charges your phone which is wonderful so I keep that with me at all times I also got this on Amazon and then I also have this uh, doodad device which I love um, so this here is for your phone or yeah I think it's pretty much for your phone and what it does is you um, this can spin around like so this part down here latches on to your tray or whatever you can latch it on to if there isn't because some airplanes even with long haul flights don't have um, screens for entertainment so sometimes you have to bring your own entertainment so before you go on any flight I would highly suggest and recommend that you download podcasts or movies or anything onto your phone to keep you occupied and entertained while on you know just in case you never know a lot of times the planes um, will change last minute so even if you do look up the type of plane that you're going to be flying on and it says on there there's an entertainment station if it switches at the last minute you may be out of luck so make sure you're always prepared I mean you can always download you know Grace and Frankie or you know any <laughs> any great show that may be popular right now um, that you need to catch up on anyway so now is your chance so this attaches to the tray table this is what you put your phone on and then you can so it attaches this way and then you can just watch like this so it's pretty great all right so the next thing I have in here is um, I always bring my silverware pouch and this is basically bamboo silverware and I also have a silicone straw, the straw holder, and I have two sets of silverware in here that I like to use. I don't like to use um, a lot of plastic on the planes and I try to give it back to the to plane for someone else to use. Um, I always try to be prepared and I have two sets of all this in this pouch. Um, for when Kevin travels with me and he may have forgotten his set, so I'm always prepared. Um, and then on the bottom here, I keep bags. So I have a plastic bag because you never know when you may need one for whatever wet clothes or wet food or anything that may um, occur on your trip. And then I've got these reusable bags as well that I use for groceries, souvenirs, farmers markets, Christmas markets, depending on the system or the, the season that you're in. Um, so they're very, very useful. And it's always good just to have a reusable bag with you. This is a scarf that I bring with me all the time. It is very, very large. And I um, wear it on the plane um, to keep me warm. Um, even in the summertime, the planes can get super, super cold. And so I just never know if I'm gonna be, I have a fan if I'm hot and the scarf if I'm cold. And this scarf um, does unfold to kind of a blanket size but it also um, folds up really nicely and compact so I bring that with me always. This is my comfort pouch. I actually got this idea from another YouTuber. Um, I thought it was brilliant. I will open it up for you so that you can see what I have. This bag um, is kind of a makeup bag um, and I got it on Amazon as well. There's a lot of different sizes. This is the medium. Um, but this is what I have for the comfort on my plane and I will do a video on this comfort pouch so that you will know exactly what I have in here. But this has everything I could possibly need for a comfortable plane ride, no matter what the scenario or the situation may be. And um, on that video, I will also uh, make a list or give you a list of everything that's in here so that you can create one for yourself. Trust me, they come in so handy. So happy to have one and I definitely use it on my long haul flight. All right, so next we have, um, this says CVS, but you can actually get this pouch at a Walgreens or a Rite Aid or any, any pharmacy or even pharmacia yeah, if you're out international, um, on international, you know, uh, land. So, uh, but this I just got at a pharmacy, it's just a case, and this is my first aid kit. So this has way more than I probably need, but I never know when I'm gonna need it, what I'm gonna need when I'm gonna need it. So this is my first aid kit. I will also do a video on what's in here, and I will also include a list so that you can create one for yourself. Very handy, you just never know. All right, and then in here, I have my electronics. Uh, pouch and in my electronics pouch this has everything I need uh, all of my charging stations um, all of my earbuds my power cords um, 
portable um, chargers. I have everything that I could need for the plane as well as abroad. So I have international chargers as well and I will do a video on that later on everything that I have in my charging pouch, electronics pouch. So that's what's in here. And I also have my makeup. I don't wear a lot of makeup, honestly. It looks like I do, but I, I honestly don't. I have some spackle, I have some mascara, a little eyebrow pencil, and uh, eyeliner and lipstick. It's pretty much all I use. So that's in here. So, and I just have it in one of those 311 TSA friendly bags. Not a lot of liquids are in here, but I figure if it's clear and they can see it, then. That's all they need. I do have TSA and Global Entry as well. I would highly recommend getting them. They are roughly um, about $100, I think, and they last a couple of years. But man, if you fly a lot, it's so convenient and it gets you in so much quicker. You don't have to take off your shoes. And a lot of times they don't really pay attention to the liquids that you have in here. Um, if you have, <laughs> as long as they're not huge bottles, if you have a couple of, of you know, this size, of um, small liquids, they don't really much attention. But you did not hear that from me. And um, at your own risk. So if you decide to follow that and you get caught and things get thrown away, please don't blame it on me. That's just been my experience so far. All right, and I also have my makeup brush pouch for when I need, you know, for those nights when um, I need a little extra glamour. So I have that in here. And then last but not least, I have my jewelry pouch. So I also got this on Amazon, and this is really great. This has everything I need. Actually, this is my full collection of jewelry that I own, but it has room for, it's a mess, I apologize, but it's got room for necklaces, it's got a pouch for earrings, and it's got um, these things for rings, which, and room for bracelets and extra zippers in here that I haven't utilized yet, so that's wonderful. That is everything in my, personal carry-on backpack for under the seat. So if you have any questions or anything that you think I could use that I have not mentioned, please let me know in the comments below. I also have my day purse as well. Also by Travelon, also has locking um, zippers and uh, RFID protection on the inside as well. And a little extra bag for shopping because you can never have too many of those. All right, well, I hope you enjoyed the video. I'm sorry if I went a little fast. If there's anything that you need me to clarify for you, please let me know. And thank you for joining me today. Bye.